Okay, it's bedtime in your house, and I'll tell you how I know bedtime goes. I remember it well. You've got your ritual you do. You, did you brush your teeth? Did you get your clothes ready for tomorrow? Are you ready? What, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff going on, but the constant is you're getting ready for bed. And I know your child, like our children, had their favorite ones that they wanted to sleep with, their favorite stuffed animals that are so soft and loving. It may be a little puppy. It may be a smaller little puppy. It may be another little puppy. It could be a little owl, a little ballerina. I don't, you know, it's something that they feel so secure with, right? But then some night, some days you have your children a little bit upset with things. They didn't sleep so well last night, right? Or the night before or the night before that. So what you've got to do is you can introduce them to our good night monster. I mean, I know he doesn't quite fit in with our little cutesy ones over here, but that's the idea. And say your child's a little upset about something in the closet, something under the bed, something somewhere else in the house. You take your little monster, whisper in his ear and tell him what the problem is. You put him under the bed, he's going to take care of things. Isn't that cool? This is a new concept. This is a new item for us. It's going to be in our holiday catalog. I thought first I thought that mm, George, not so much, but you know what? I think it's a great idea. I wanted to introduce to you our good night monster.